one Sony Bravia XR65X95J specifications. Panel type, LED. Screen size, 65 inches. Resolution, 3840 by 2160. Video inputs, HDMI, RF, USB, composite. HDR, Dolby Vision, HDR10. HDMI ports, 4. Streaming services, yes. Screen brightness, 930.93 nits. Black level, 0.04 CD slash M carat 2. Contrast ratio, 23,870,1. Refresh rate, 120 Hz. VRR, no. Input lag, game mode 10.8 milliseconds. To Sony Bravia XR65X95J review. Sony impressed us earlier this year with its flagship OLED TV, the Master Series A90J. The X95J, Sony's LED equivalent of that model, offers some useful features such as hands-free Google Assistant integration as well as support for both Apple AirPlay and Google Cast. However, its steep price, $1,999.99 for the 65-inch XR65X95J we tested, pits it against strong competitors, including the Hisense UHG, LG C1, and Samsung QN90A, all of which are Editor's Choice Award winners for various reasons including price, black levels, and picture quality. The X95J trails them all in terms of contrast and color, so while it's a good TV, it just can't quite keep up. 3 Sleek Look, Clever Stand The minimalist X95J sports an almost bezel-free design, a tiny chrome band outlines the sides and top of the screen, while a slim brushed metallic strip defines the bottom edge. The TV sits on two flat, angular metal legs that you can attach to either lift the screen a few inches, like most TV stands, or let the bottom edge of the screen sit nearly flush against the surface it's sitting on. The legs are positioned very wide, so check your measurements for where you want to put the TV to make sure you have enough space. The power cable is permanently attached and sits on the right side of the back of the TV. All other connections are on the left side facing out including an HDMI port, two USB ports, a 3.5mm composite video input, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a 3.5mm port for an IR receiver, alongside a switch for the built-in far-field microphone. Three more HDMI ports, two 4K120, one EARC, a third USB port, an optical audio output, a 3.5mm RS 232C port, an Ethernet port, and an antenna or cable connector face down. The included remote is a long, thin black wand with rubber buttons. A circular direction pad sits in the middle, along with a number pad and four color buttons for quick access to video streaming services such as Amazon Prime Video, Disney+, Netflix, and YouTube. Volume and channel rockers and playback control sit below the pad. If you prefer, you can manually summon Google Assistant via a dedicated button and speak directly into the remote rather than use the TV's far-field microphones. The remote connects wirelessly to the TV, so you don't need direct line of sight to control it. For Google TV, with Apple AirPlay. Sony uses Google TV for its smart TV platform, which means the X95J effectively behaves as if a Chromecast with Google TV was connected to it. The Google TV platform provides access to all major streaming services including Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Disney+, HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix, Twitch, and YouTube. The interface is adept at tracking most of those services for content searches, suggestions, and aggregating live TV. Google TV also offers thousands of different apps and other services, while support for Google Cast means you can mirror your Android device, Chrome tab, or PC screen to the TV. Additionally, the X95J supports Apple AirPlay 2 for mirroring iOS devices and Macs. Google TV also integrates Google Assistant voice control. 
Just say, hey Google, and give your command. Google Assistant can search for content, control the TV directly, control compatible smart home devices, and provide general information such as weather forecasts and sports scores. It can also show your calendar, unless you use G Suite for your calendar, which is poorly supported. If you don't want the microphones to always listen for the wake phrase, you can physically turn them off with a switch on the TV. The HeSense U9DG and U8G TVs also offer hands-free Google Assistant through the slightly less sleek Android TV platform. 5. Good performance, but not the best. The Sony X95J is a 4K TV with a 120Hz refresh rate. It supports high dynamic range, HDR, content in HDR10, Dolby Vision, and hybrid log gamma, HLG. Oddly, to enable Dolby Vision, you need to manually switch the HDMI input signal format to enhanced format, Dolby Vision, not just enhanced format, which enables other HDR modes but not Dolby Vision. We test TVs using a Klein K80 colorimeter, a Murideo 6G signal generator, and portrait displays common software using a methodology based on Imaging Science Foundation's calibration techniques. With an SDR signal, the X95J shows a peak brightness of 399.092 CD slash M carat 2 with a full screen white field and 353.518 CD slash M carat 2 with an 18% white field and an 0.042 CD slash M carat 2 black level. With an HDR signal, those numbers jump up to 596.527 CD slash M carat 2 with a full screen white field and 930.929 CD slash M carat 2 with an 18% white field. That's significantly brighter than the A90JS 632.348 CD slash M carat 2 peak brightness, though as an OLED TV, the A90J offers perfect black levels and so its contrast ratio is fundamentally higher than any LED TV. The average black level, taken from black portions of the screen while a separate part of the screen is fully lit up, is 0.039 CD slash M carat 2 with some caveats. We noticed a good amount of light bloom on the screen, with areas far away from the light dropping to around 0.01 CD slash M carat 2 and areas closer to the light reaching nearly 0.08 CD slash M carat 2. Using an estimated average, the X95JS effective contrast ratio is 23,870,1. This is very good, but notably lower than the contrast ratios of the HeSense U9DG, 198,206,1, and U8G, 88,168,1, as well as Samsung's QN90A, 367,593,1. All of these models are significantly brighter, with lower black levels. The above charts show the X95JS color measurements in cinema mode with an SDR signal compared against Rec.709 broadcast standard color levels and with an HDR signal compared against DCI-P3 digital cinema standards. Whites are perfect with both signals, and colors are consistently well balanced, with cyan slightly drifting toward green in HDR. The TV doesn't quite hit the ranges it should though, with reds and greens slightly oversaturated in SDR and all colors falling short of DCI-P3 in HDR. The HeSense U9DG, and U8G, for that matter, LG C1, and Samsung QN90A all cover or nearly cover the DCI-P3 color space, as does the Sony A90J. 6. Sony-centric gaming As a Sony TV, the X95J primarily targets PlayStation 5 owners with its gaming features, and that's not good news for gamers on other platforms. For example, Sony has yet to add variable refresh rate, VRR, support to the PS5, which means the X95J doesn't support that feature, or any other platform-specific VRR, such as NVIDIA G-Sync or AMD FreeSync. However, the TV does support 4K 120 from the PS5 and any other hardware capable of that resolution and frame rate, and it offers an auto low latency mode. 
we measured the X95JS input lag using an HD Fury Diva HDMI matrix and recorded lags of 146.3 milliseconds in cinema mode and 10.8 milliseconds in game mode. The game mode number is what's most important for video games, and 10.8 milliseconds is hardly disappointing. However, after the last few years of seeing several TVs with input lag well below 5 milliseconds, it's also not impressive. The X95J comes in just over the recently lowered 10 milliseconds threshold we use to determine the best TVs for gaming. Once again, the Hisense UHG, LG C1, and Samsung QN90A all showed lower input lag, 7.9, 4.7, and 2.6 milliseconds, respectively, and all feature VRR and AMD FreeSync. 7 A Fine Flagship TV The Sony X95J is a very good TV that offers strong contrast, fairly good color, and plenty of features. That said, the comparably priced LG C1 OLED, $1,799.99 offers far better colors and darker blacks, as do both the pricier Samsung QN90A, $2,599.99, and the less expensive Hisense UHG, $949.99, both of which get significantly brighter. We also like Sony's OLED A90J, though it's much more expensive at $3,999.99. There's really nothing wrong with the X95J, it just falls slightly behind the competition.